The Anvil Hurricane is a hard-hitting, uh, anti-capital ship type craft. It's still in the same kind of shape and styling of a, a dogfighter like you'd see with the Sabre or the Super Hornet, but strength really comes from being able to leverage the four size three guns on its man turret against a larger target. What was interesting about the Hurricane specifically, it's got some, some shapes on it that aren't really common on many Anvil ships. So what you'll notice is that you've got sweeping lines that go from the nose all the way to the wing and some lines that go all the way from the nose over the back all the way to the tail. So you have the circle turret on the back um, and you've got a lot of sort of flat shapes and vertical stabilizers. Um, so the first thing I had to do was sort of approach the ship slightly differently than we do other anvil ships. So you'll notice that the wing flows directly into the side of the body, which flows directly into the nose. It was also really cool to work on it because I was able to incorporate almost directly elements from other anvil ships like the Gladiator. What's cool about this ship in particular is that we physically have separated the position of the gunner and the pilot, so there's no conflict between the enter and exits between those two. Uh, but I was able to do a pretty refined sort of a me mechanism for uh, pulling the seat up and then also ejecting out of the pilot seat. So it's got, a, it's got a rail that's separate from the seat and everything sort of mounted together in a really cool way. The idea with this is you've got a, a pilot and a gunner team working in, in concert with each other where the pilot is finding and setting the best lines to give the turret gunner the longest on-target uh, field of fire to whatever they're attacking. But on the flip side, uh, it's got sort of poor armor, poor, poor shielding. So on its own, um, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a bit of a gamble how you'll do in a fight. Like, you know, if it's the classic, you're coming out of the sun and, you know, take someone by, by some, you know, by surprise, chance are you'll just blow them out of the water, no problem. Um, but if you're, you know, if you're spotted, then uh, you're probably going to have some issues. So the Hurricanes turret is a bespoke setup that we've made just for this ship. Normally a turret is only going to have a pair of guns total on it. Uh, with this one, we decided to make it a quad laser type setup. So it's got two guns on either side of the turret, um, just more throughput to it. Uh, and giving the ship the ample you know, power and cooling throughput to actually handle all of those guns firing at full force as long as possible. So we're adding the Hurricane because we want something where you, you can kind of get that you know, swarm of fighters approaching, but that swarm is going to tear apart a large target. Think of it almost like you know, a swarm of army ants or fire ants coming at you know, a, a piece of carrion on the ground. They're gonna pass over that and there's not gonna be anything left but bones in its wake. Uh, and that's sort of the idea where you, you get a, a wing of hurricanes working together. Maybe you put a, a vanguard in, sort of as a, a spearhead for that wing to take some of the, the damage from whatever target you're fighting. And you're going to put a tremendous amount of damage on whatever target you want to. Uh, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna hold up that well on their own against sustained fire but you, you put a pack of them together, they're going to just shred things apart. It's difficult because you know that it's got to be part of the family and, and you know, for players and for the community, you want something uh, that's slightly different, but you know, it's where to push and pull, where to, where to go wild or not. And so we sort of, we, there was a lot of sort of hopping around on this one, especially in the early stages. Um, and then remember there was one key stage we hit where it, you know, it looked really good, really solid. It was hitting all the sort of key beats. And then, and then yeah, we, I, we kind of, I, ideally we should have just gone, you know, it would have been nice, nice straight road from A to, A to Z. But you know, we sort of meandered. And so when you sort of look at <clears throat> that initial sketch and the final sketch, they're not really that far apart. But we did do a bit of a crazy loop to get to there. But it's kind of, um, for me, it's just part of the process. You know, I, I personally want to, I want to make sure that we've um, investigated the options and not just plumped for the obvious thing. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, you know, let's look at something 
that gives it a more of a fragile nature. Let's, you know, let's look at adding extra fins or taking off fins, you know, adding a bit of more gladiator influence or more hornet influence and just see where that takes it. Um, so there's always that process. So the cockpit on this particular ship is a little bit more minimalist than other Anvil ships. So we still have a bunch of buttons all over the place which correspond to every system in the game. But for the most part, the dashboard is, is very clean. It, we're not adding a, a tons of detail in areas just for the sake of adding them on this one. Uh, we're keeping the player view, we're trying to keep the player view as clean as possible. Um, and any details that we have are meant to mostly be functional. Uh, so the cockpit in this particular ship is a little bit more minimalist than your average anvil ship. But the cockpit in the turret, I think is extremely cool because that thing, you basically are sitting in a bubble surrounded by weapons. And when you start firing, you can see the muzzle flash of each gun around you just going off. So it feels like you are the gun firing. Uh, and that thing is super cool. You know, I've got the style guide. We know, you know, here's are the key things. Here are the key beats that need to be hit. And we, can, and we can do variety within those beats in terms of proportion and placing. But those are the things that are important to this brand. And so the ship has followed that, you know, in and in terms of its line work, you know, split lines. I mean, the ship comes across as a little more, not complex, but a slightly higher manufacturing kind of ability so it's a little it's a little sleeker uh, in places but generally you know there'll be familiarities in in terms of what you see in the gladiator and what you see in the hurricane i think i think um you know the sort of increase in skill needed for the ship could could well be a selling point i think it'll be you know i think it's going to probably divide the community you're going to have people who are like I don't want to touch this ship with a barge pole because I'm just going to get shot to pieces and that would probably be me. And then you're going to have players who are just like, yeah, I'm going to take this on. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. And, you know, with that firepower, you know, and, you know, there are, there are other games which, which I can't mention, but, you know, they have those sort of similar mechanics where you have just got massive firepower and, you know, you, you just see, you take a chance, see if you can get away with it. Dare I say, would you be the griefer? I'm not quite sure, but I think it'll be fun, yeah. The, the benefit of the hurricane over, say, a, a bomber like a, a gladiator or an eclipse against a larger target is going to be just sustained throughput. Ordnance, so missiles, torpedoes, rockets, anything like that, it's a finite supply on any ship that carries it. Laser blasts aren't as finite. As long as you've got a functional power plant and functional coolers, you can keep shooting. And so it's that sustained throughput that's going to give the Hurricane its advantage in fighting these larger targets because, you know, a retaliator comes in, drops all of its torpedoes in a big salvo, we'll say, you know, anti-missile systems take out a couple of those torpedoes, or one of the torpedoes manages to hit, you know, a fully shielded face. That retaliator isn't going to wait 20 seconds, 30 seconds for its systems to sort of cool down a bit and fire another volley. They're going to be out of ammo. Whereas the hurricane, okay, I, I messed up on one pass. Well, the, the pilot can find a new line. We do another pass, zip down the ship, zip down the target, and keep just pushing out that, that steady throughput of damage on target. The hurricane definitely feels like it's the kind of ship that's going to appeal the most to uh, teams of players wanting to pick on bigger targets. It can punch above its weight class and then it gets hit once in the wrong spot and it's going to go spiraling a bit. It's a fun ship, but it's not the kind of thing that you want to try and go picking fights with more purebred dogfighters in. Just take a look at the nose. I think it has an incredibly aggressive nose. Uh, there's a lot of detail in there. It looks like a really angry face. Um, and I think that sort of reflects what, what it's supposed to feel like when this thing's bearing down on you. Uh, just get out of the way, man. <laughs>